Hey guys, this is Whitmore from Wits End Media, and first off, I gotta apologize for the camera. I, I'm gonna be moving the camera around, so I'm holding this with my hand, so it's a little bit shaky, probably not gonna look the best, but trust me, it'll be fine. But we're gonna show you how to do a dual display in DaVinci Resolve or having a second window open with a full screen. You'll see what I'm saying. So let's jump right in. So, so I got my camera flipped around and I have my two monitors set up. Um, you're gonna see this in full screen in OBS too as well. So don't worry about this. So I'm gonna switch to OBS now. So now that we're in OBS, um, the, here's our first screen that you're looking at right now. We, here's our video, here's everything going on and we're gonna go up here to workspace. And we have a couple of different options. So we have dual screen, which if we click on, go back to the camera, it looks like this. So you got your main editing over here, which actually looks a little bit different. And then you got all your assets. So you got your effects down here in the corner. You got your media data. You got edit index, your mixers, um, your master. So you got your media folders. And so you got all your stuff right here. I personally don't like this just because I feel like, I don't know, I like everything being on one page. I usually don't use two monitors when I edit my videos. I just keep to one. But for the sake of this video, there's obviously two. And also, don't mind that mess. Um, I had to scoot everything over just to fit this second monitor on here. So don't worry about that. Let's go back to the main screen. So to get the second screen, which I'm sure most of you here are here for, to get that full screen view so you can see what you're working on while you edit, you actually have to turn this dual screen off or else it won't work. So we're gonna turn that off. Everything's gonna kinda look back to normal. We're gonna go back to workspace. And what you wanna go to is the video clean feed. And so if you have more than two monitors, um, like if you had a third one or something you wanna change, you can do it. But right now it's selected on none. And now we're gonna select monitor two. And so now going back to the camera, this is what it looks like. So you actually still have all your effects in here. Everything looks normal, unlike before, but you got your second monitor so you can make your changes and you can see in real time. So like, um, let's say we go to our color page and let's say we just want to make this orange or something. We see it in real time. There we go. That's shows both screens at the same time. We're gonna reset that. So, yeah, that's how it's gonna look. Hey guys, this is Whitmore. I forgot, I was editing the video and forgot to say it. Um, I know the audio is gonna be bad, so sorry about that, but um, you have to have DaVinci Resolve Studio. You cannot just have the free version, you have to have the paid version. Um, but other than that, everything works, you just have to have the studio, so. That was it. So that's gonna how it's look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit weird switching back to the cameras, especially for me. I've never done something like this. So, and the lighting's all messed up because you can see all my green over here. That's from lights right here I got under my desk. I got over here. So looks a little bit weird, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and yeah. Make sure to check out our other videos. I know it's not many videos right now. It's very small. You know, you got you to start from somewhere. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and have a great day.